Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do the stick sum data analysis using Access 2000 software. Here you can see the data collected from the stick sum. And here we did some XMCD measurement on the single nanowire. And it has data corresponds to both left and right circularly polarized light. And we collected uh, image at each energy point then we generated a stacks which is here so I'm going to show you how to get the final x-ray absorption spectra using axis 2000 software here is the axis 2000 software this is the icon corresponds to axis 2000 so if you click on that this window will pop up and this is the front panel of Axis 2000. You have many options here. In the first step, you are going to click on read to load the data. So you can see number of options here, stick some beam images, etc. But we are interested in stick some data analysis. So you're going to click on stick some. This small window will pop up. You can see here browse. You're going to click on that then it will directly take you to the uh, stick some uh, data you are going to click on that and click on open so as i said this is uh, this data corresponds to xmcd measurement so it has uh, data corresponds to both left and right circularly polarized light therefore it has basically two files so I can, I'm going to load two files. So now this is uh, the region one, which corresponds to LCP. So I'm going to click OK now. So you can see here data is loading. So this window will pop up. I'm going to call this as 75L, which means LCP. So click on open. So this small window will op open. So you just click enter, it will go away. And this is the uh, stack corresponds to left circularly polarized light. You can see the nanowire stick some image. I'm going to minimize it. Similarly, we are going to load the data corresponds to RCP or the right circularly polarized light. You will repeat the same step. So click on read, click on stick some then click on browse click on the stack file then press open but here make sure that you click here on the region 2 which corresponds to RCP then press OK now you can see the data is loading here now this window will pop up and I will call this as 75R you can see here open don't get confused which is nothing but save you are saving the data so click on open and this small window will pop up and just press enter it will go away and you can see here stick some image corresponds to RCP so next step is to combine or append these two stacks corresponds to LCP and RCP so click on stacks here to do that click on stacks so you can see here number of options analyze add append bin so we have to append therefore click on append so you can see here two files that we saved just now 75 L and R so I'm going to click on L and second file which is RCP 75R. I'm going to click on that. Now you can see here appended stack file name. So you are going to save this appended uh, stacks. So I will call it as 75LR. So open, which means you are saving the data. Okay. So in this part of the video, I shown you how to. I showed you how to. Uh, read the data and append it in the next step I'm going to show you 
how to align this data using Jacobson analysis software.